Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. I live with my boyfriend in our apartment in California. I am a technical writer, I'm a poet, I'm a streamer, and I'm a YouTuber. I get paid bi-weekly and I divide that paycheck in half, spread it across the two weeks to stay on top of my budget. If you're interested in all things cash stuffing and planner content, I hope you stick around. In today's video, I am cash stuffing the first half of my second paycheck of May, doing 370. So, to count the money, 50, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And it is all there. Perfect. So I'm going to put this to the side. And I'm going to start with my wallet. First thing I'm going to do is take out all of my receipts. I'm going to scan them into my Fetch Rewards. If you're unfamiliar with Fetch, it is a rewards system, um, rewards app. You scan your receipts, those receipts become points, and those points become gift cards. Um, I have a referral code in the description down below. If you're interested, when you scan in your first receipt, you get some bonus points and I get some points for referring you. It's a win-win. I think right now you can get like a thousand. Uh, points when you scan in your first receipt and you use a code. So pretty good. Pretty good. I'm just taking out my change right now and struggling with it <laughs> as usual. I hope you guys are doing well. I am. It is Tuesday that I am filming this. I usually film on Tuesdays or Wednesdays um, and I'm feeling pretty good today. So here's all the change from this week, quite a bit. I did a lot of shopping this week, as you could tell by the, the amount of receipts. That's how we're looking in the coin jar. So first thing I'm going to do is stuff the wallet. I'm gonna take out any ones that I have um, and they're gonna go in my tray and those are gonna to go towards my 100 envelopes. So first things first, Groceries is getting $60, and it's getting those as 20s. So 20, 40, 60, 80. 30. is getting 30. It's getting a 20 and a 10. So 20, 35. Did a lot of shopping from there. Um, Gas is going to get a 10. I had to get a bunch of allergy medicine because my eyes were so itchy, running, crying. It was terrible. I have two ones left over in spending this week. And then putting in the usual 15. So 15 is all it has. Um, my eyes were just bothering me so bad, so I had to pay for some overpriced eye drops and allergy medicine from um, Walgreens. Oopsie is fully funded at $20, so it is getting skipped. And that is my wallet all set for the week. Let me move my pumpkin guy a little closer. So that is the wallet all good to go. Moving into my low priority sinking funds. Online shopping is getting $20, so it now has 40. Right now I'm saving up for um, a Nintendo game they released a remake of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, which I heard was very good. So I'm very excited for that. Today is the 14th that I'm filming. Eating Out is getting $15, so a 10 and a 5. So it now has 10, 25, 30. Builds up quick, putting in $15 a week. I'm very happy about it. 30, 15, stuff, and five, 
14, oops, 14, oh my God. Struggling. Self-care, I added this envelope back. I just realized I can't not have it. And even if I can only put five or $10 a week, it's worth having. Um, and that is getting $10. Stuffing and five. Was I putting a four down for things for the month? My, in my uh, tracker, that's kind of funny if I was. Family is getting its usual five. It now has $10. Saving up for Father's Day right now, which is, oh, I forgot to put the unstuffing. Um, I forget what date, but Mom's Day. That was 20 bucks, $5, and now we have 10. Forgot to update my tracker, goodness. It happens sometimes. Nintendo, this is saving up for the next system. Nintendo is getting 10. And I can fill in a little icon on here. But it now has 100 in the high yield, 20, 30. So 130, if I can open this envelope, there we go. Make sure that's dry. Oh, I forgot to um, bank 100, so 20, and now we have 30. Forgot to update my tracker just after I did some shopping and decided more should go back to the bank. I still have to deposit everything that I unstuffed and condensed. Um, tattoos is fully funded at $500. I go this Sunday, so actually tomorrow, because you're seeing this on Saturday. Adventure is getting $20, so it now has $200 in the bank and $25. Um, so I get tattooed actually tomorrow that you're seeing this, so that's exciting. 20, no, it has 25. Sorry, getting confused, goodness. And I'm struggling to write the number. Um, struggling to write. Wedding is getting $5, that's all it has. It got reallocated. Five. Stuffing, five, 14. And that is it for low priority. Next up is my Christmas binder. Christmas is getting $10. So it currently has 30, not enough to stuff a family member's envelope. If you're new here, every $40, I stuff a, family's, a family member's envelope. And that means that their under the tree gift is fully funded. So next week I should be able to have my niece's gift fully funded, which is exciting. Moving into high priority sinking funds. Emergency is getting skipped. It's fully funded at $10,000. BB, this is to pay back my boyfriend, is getting his usual 50, so he has 550. This is the only placeholder I don't have in the bank. I have it just in a separate envelope. Um, so this is 921 that I owe him. Paying back for his half of the apartment expenses. Um, savings is getting $20. So now it has 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and 20. If you notice there's more in placeholders, it's because I didn't have an electric bill this month. Um, so I decided to put that money in my savings account. So it now has 900 in the bank, which is very exciting. Health is getting its usual five. So it now has $10. Next week, this will be funded for the next month's uh, prescriptions, which is exciting. I love that. So 
stuffing, 514. Medical is fully funded at 155. That's for like my copays for dentist and my psychiatrist. Car is getting $10. So it now has 60. Very excited. I'm stuffing for a oil change and um, my car registration for next year. So I'm aiming for like 300 in that envelope. Service dog is getting $10. So it now has 500, 600, 700 in the bank and $10. So 10. And stuff by 14. And last but not least in this binder is my IRA, and that is getting $10. I decided to make an IRA envelope and just stuff it every week and at the end of the month deposit it. Um, just as a better as a way to get money in my IRA more often. It's better for, you know accumulating the interest and all that. So I've decided to do it that way. And then when it comes to the savings challenge, I can do it and reallocate the money when I'm done. So I decided to do the Dripped by Erica challenge. I'm taking a break from the cafe series. Um, this is getting $10. I decided to take a break from the cafe series just because it was asking a lot every week. And with this one, I can just kind of build it up differently. I can put five or 10 a week and then just move the money through a different envelope um, as I build up the money. So it just felt like less pressure, which was important to me. Next is my 100 envelopes challenge. And I'm gonna move some stuff to the side here just cause it's easier. So I withdrew 45 specifically, but I have one, two, three ones in stash cash. So I can do envelope number 48. So 20, 45, six, seven, eight. Very exciting. I love being in the higher numbers for this now because it feels like the money is building up very quickly. Like the dollar amount, which is, in my opinion, super exciting and I love to see it. So 48 and to keep track of the dollar amount, we had 1443 plus 48. So I now have 1,491. Yay. Super cool. Very, very exciting. We're almost done with the 40s row. Very nice, very nice. Well, that is all of the cash. That's all the money. So we are done with this week's cash stuffing. I hope this was interesting for you. If it was, definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.